Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode, I think it's three? Episode three of The Road to Glory. Um, this is basically just catching up. Um, I've got a bunch of Division Rivals games, I think, or maybe... No, I think I have a draft in this episode for you. Um, this is a lot later. Like, this is basically... The time I'm editing this is the time I've recorded it. Pretty much similar. So it's a long time after the last one. So you're going to see a very, very different team. Um, so this is after the first week of Div Rivals Rewards. And there you can see the updated team. So as you can see, very, very different. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a bit different. It's fairly different. Um, now, we have ourselves... Millie Savage, Douglas Costa, as you can see. I, I think I'd go through all the players here. So um, Douglas Costa, we got... Um, there's Lucas there, as you can see, I did that. Bellotti, he is great at striker. Bernardeschi, not bad at Cam. Millie Savage, Bonaventura, Parolo, uh, loading up the midfield. Asamoa, Juan Jesus, Barzagli, Florenzi, solid defense, and Donnarumma in goal as well still. Um, and the bench is my second team, uh, just to get fitness. Um, so I think I'm just going to go through the club now, I'm pretty sure. That's all I'm going to do, yeah. So I'm just going to go through the club. There's all my loans. Um, an inform. Um, bunch of... Uh, just a bunch of players I don't use. Sort of high-rated players. Uh, there's Danny Alves there. Seri, David Villa, Arnautovic. Uh, Pastore. Yeah. And um, this is basically... It's, it's a club that... Um, as you can see, they're the silvers, but I'll get to the um, untradeable golds in a second, I think. Hopefully. Yeah. So, um, basically, this is my club that I've uh, accumulated, I guess, throughout... Um, well, throughout the time between the last recording and this recording. Um, I've opened a lot of a lot of packs, as you can see, including the Div Rivals rewards from last week, in which I got rank 2... Um, and the ones for this week should be out, I think, I think I did record them, and they should be out tomorrow, I think. Um, so yeah, look forward to that. Um, they weren't, they were not bad at all, and for the Div Rivals rewards, the last ones I did were untradeable, and so were, um, so were these ones that I did. But going forward, I'm going to be doing coins and tradable, I think. However... The Div Rivals Ward should be out tomorrow, in which you'll see some uh, pretty good packs. Um, I can't, I can't even remember what I got. Um, so obviously it wasn't that special, but um, I, th I don't think it was actually half bad. Um, but regardless, we're going to go into the draft now. Um, now I'm doing an online draft. This is the first online draft I've done this year. Um, and for formation, I decided I think I'd went uh, four three one two. Because I like central formations, and that was, I think, the best one out of all the selections for me. Now, out of all of these, I decided to go with Mertens because I wanted to create a Serie A team. Um, I just like, I like creating Serie A teams. And I thought, I wanted to try out Mertens. Um, here I just go with Hurtado because he's pacey. Um, no one else really there, but at the next striker position, we get Chiro. Chiro, 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 Chiro. Chiro Mobile, the god, the god, Chiro Mobile, um, which I was very hyped about. Uh, we get Fabian at left uh, centre mid. At central centre mid, we get Zielinski. So I'm just trying to, you know, choose a bunch of Serie A players, you know, ones that would fit in the squad. I'm going for Kem here. Not necessarily the best players like uh, Talisa or something. Like here I go for a Benassi. And he's not the best, but he gets the Kem. So um, I'm, I'm all right with that. Uh, at left back, I believe... Yep, we got uh, Rodriguez, which was good. We got a Serie A left back, which I was happy about. Um, at centre back, we didn't get a very good choice, but we did get Clavan uh, on loan from Liverpool or sold from Liverpool. I don't know. I can't remember. But um, at right centre back, look, we had Sergio Ramos as Pilaqueta, 
Naldo, but we went with Barzagli. We needed the chem, and Barzagli is actually pretty good on this game. So, um, yeah. Here, I decided I would go with uh, Mario Gaspar, and the reason for that is if I didn't have a Serie A right back, I could use Fabian there and get a little bit of chem at least. Now... In goal, Perrin, very nice keeper. Um, Glove chem style as well. Even though a basic is probably all you need for goalkeepers this year, Glove chem style is not that bad. We go to the reserves and we get ourselves Neymar, and I'm not going to refuse that at all. So um, Neymar as our reserves, he will be coming on a lot. Here, I'm going to take Asamoah, obviously. Um, and I think... I think we'll play him at uh, right back. I think I'm just checking uh, which foot they're both at and how much weak foot or whatever. What's their weak foot at? But he actually got less chem than Gaspar, so I decided to just leave Gaspar in there. Um, here we got ourselves... Um, yeah, there's Felipe Anderson, but I decided, I think, if I remember correctly, that I go with Mendy. Yep, okay. So I decided to go with Mendy because I feel like he'd be a good super sub off the bench and he could go at CDM as well or central centre mid. Here I just went for rating because none of the other players were really tickling me fancy. And for this one, yeah, it's a shitty silver. I think I'd just go with Cole. Um, Ashley Cole. It's Ashley Cole, isn't it? I think so. So I just went with Ashley Cole because why not? Bit of a legend. Um, next position... I think here, no-brainer, Rosalco. Um, great for us. So we've got nearly a full team apart from um, the striker now. Up next, we get ourselves... I think it's either Ben Yedder or Bernardo Silva that I take, but I can't remember. Um, I, yeah, I take Ben Yedder because why not? He's, he's, he's not bad on the game. So um, in case I want to bring him off the bench, maybe... Just chuck him there, and then I get this man, Millie Savage. Very, very pleased with that, I was. Um, and then, I think, do we move on or do I change the team now? Because seeing this, even I know what you guys are thinking. Chuck Mertens at striker, put um, one of my centre mids at cam. And obviously that didn't go through my brain at this point, but I'm pretty sure I do it a bit later on. I think here we just go Komen. Um most of them are 83s and 82s, so it doesn't really matter, but Komen's not bad on the game at all. Uh, then for the defensive spots, we go for, I think, Ruslan. I think um, Ruslan, he's not a bad card at all, but we're not really going to use him, so does it matter? Not really. Now, the centre-back spot's a very good centre-back, or it should be. Thiago Silva, I'm going to go with, because apparently he's actually pretty good on the game. Um, goalkeeper doesn't really matter. We're going to use Perrin regardless. Um, but, I mean, we'll take a Buffon. Because um, I thought just in case we had another centre-back, why not? And I probably could have played Thiago Silva. Um, but I did. But I didn't. I probably could have linked them up. And Barzagli as well, but I didn't in the end. And there we go. There you see, I'm linking it up. And we got a full 100 chem, which is I'm, which I'm very happy about. Um, and our sentiments aren't actually that bad, to be fair. For a draft, it could be a lot worse. So I'm very, very happy with that. And I'm hoping that I just move it along, get myself a manager and go into the game. But I'm pretty sure I take a while here because I'm annoying. I think I'm just adjusting the team, you know. Um, sorting out what the hell okay yeah um, so finally I speed it up great editing from me um, so I take the Brazilian manager because I think that you know works best um, it's a bit the footage is a bit choppy I don't know why but um, you know I'm just ordering the bench because OCD sake um, and I think the subs we're going to bring off the bench are uh, Tiago Silva and Neymar mostly, and then maybe someone else if um, we need fitness or um, you know a better player in any position. But there's the first team we're coming up against: Abomiang, Salah, Hazard, Jorginho, um, Offchem, Griezmann, Ox Chamberlain, um, bloody Otamendi, David Luiz. Not a bad team at all. 
but we get it off the bat with a bit of a scrappy goal. I'm going to be honest, I did not like scoring that, but we'll take it. Bit of a scrappy goal with Zielinski, I think, yep. Um, with the Mbappe celebration, love that celebration of the game. I piss off everyone with that celebration. And I just um, decided to make a point by skipping it forward that uh, it fucking annoys me because this guy basically scored, you know, directly after I did. So um, if we can, I can work it. Yep. And it's a really scrappy goal. I did not like conceding that at all. That would really annoyed me. Jorginho with that. Did not enjoy that at all. However, right on this stroke of half time, look at the timestamp. Three minutes over. It's actually four minutes over, and we score it. A bit of a, yeah, look at that. I mean, it's 49th minute with three. Uh, it's not like to score, but that one is a nice tucked away finish, I think, from Neymar brought him on, and he does the neighborhood celebration. Great celebration. Um, three one up and in the dying embers, this guy just gives it to Chiro and Chiro just chips him. You know how Chiro does it. Um, he does not mind the in the slightest. And I actually packed Chiro um in my Div Rivals rewards for the first week. But um actually no, did I? No, I think I packed him from an SBC pack. I think I packed Chiro from an SBC pack. And um it, I it was tradable, so I'm pretty sure I sold him for like 70k or 80k at the time. So that explains why my team is so good. While I've got why I've got like Savage and all that, um, good players. And look at Chiro jumping up. You know I play Bellotti at the moment, and he's like 2k, and you know he's not bad. So I'm gonna wait till I have more coins, and then I might buy Chiro because he's. A delightful card. As you can tell from me using him in this draft, he was very, very good. And this guy puts a through ball in. And again, scrappy. But, you know, sweaty goals. Um, our keeper just mauling Douglas Costa there as well. Zielinski, just very, very scrappy deflection goal. Really, really annoying to score. Um, this guy pauses, but yeah, not quitting, unfortunately. But who would at 2-1? Then he strikes back in the 69th minute um, with, I think that's Douglas Costa he scores it with, a uh, great through ball for him. And yeah, that was the last chance I had at the end of extra time. And it goes to penalties, and I'm pretty sure I've left them all in because this is oh, suspenseful. Second round, I didn't want to get knocked out at all in this. I did not want to get knocked out in the slightest. And this guy skies it. He skies it. Um, ben Mendy here. I've got the arrow. I think there's a glitch where you sometimes can't, don't get the arrow, even though the other person may have it. But Ben Mendy slots it away with the assistance from the arrow. Here's Brozovic now against Perrin. This guy, this guy took a long time to take his penalty, so it was a bit, bit sketchy. But he did slot it away, the second one. Except the due to we missed in the first one, we had a bit of, you know, we had something. Um, he does have David De Gea in goal, though. Thiago Silva, though, spanking it into the back of the net. Delightful finish. Now, Insigne, can he score? Yes, he can. Spanks that into the back of the net as well. And now Neymar Jr. for us always. It says in the bottom corner, Junior. Uh, but he slots it with that little steppy-steppy run-up. Um, now Balotelli with the fucking weirdest hair in the game. It's just literally like a bouffant, but it's shaved on the sides. Weird. But he slots it right into the top of the goal. Now Merton's for us. Can Merton slot it? Give us an even bigger upper hand. No, De Gea saves it. Now Douglas Costa for him. We're hoping he misses. Or oh, I save, and I do save it. And here it is, Chiro versus De Gea to go into the third round. Chiro positions it, and De Gea deflects it into the goal, however, can't save it. And Chiro walks over, and Chiro says, Welcome to my neighbourhood, bitch. And as that, we stroll 
Oh, I say stroll. It was a hassle, but we, we, we strolled into the third round of the draft with that win on penalties. And against in the in the third round, we come up against a decent, decent team. Um, Rudiger, David Luiz, Allison, Ronaldo, Insigne, Callahan, Jorginho wants to watch. And Ronaldo slots it in the 24th minute to take him one up. And again, at a near post, I hate those near post finishes, especially with Ronaldo. He just... You, there's nothing. There's nothing you can do. Um, but, and look at him again with Ronaldo. He, Ronaldo. He's Ronaldo carried in this whole game. 3-0 in the 52nd minute. And I think you know what's happening. I'm not making a comeback here. I'm not making a comeback here. Or am I? <laughs> or am I? Because Neymar slots that. But no, it's the 83rd minute. And he's just about to slot a fourth. Yep. Mm-hmm. Top bins. 4-1 with Callahan there. I mean... Just like that, we're knocked out in the third round. Hopefully, we can get some good rewards. I really, really hope we can get some good rewards because 15k on this, I just wanted something. And we do get profit in the form of packs, uh, 7.5k packs and 15k packs. And the footage corrupted for them. However, you will see what I got in the next episode. I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger, but we do get boards in both packs i'll tell you that much we do get boards in both packs however the footage did corrupt for the pack opening so all i have to show you is the next recording which is just showing you um i think it just shows you the players sold and believe me it's profit it is it is definitely profit two boards i won't tell you if they're walkouts or not but there are two boards um Anyway, thank you guys for watching this draft. We did get some very nice rewards, which you guys will see in the next episode. We didn't do too bad in the draft. I thought we were going to get knocked out in the first round. We got knocked out in the third, which is yeah, it's not that bad. I don't mind it. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment. Tell me if you made it this far. Tell me if you're enjoying the series, and I'll see you in the next one. I think it should be up tomorrow. I think this is a double upload today, so you guys are lucky, all right? <laughs> But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Laters.